So let's go on to talk about something else that might help us improve our contrast in our images, specifically phase contrast imaging. So just want to note that the term phase here refers to a phase shift of an optical wave and not to material phases like in crystallographic phases. So specifically this method takes advantage of the optical effect of refraction rather than the x-ray absorption effects we saw earlier. So refraction uh, simply means a change of angle when we illuminate a sample. And so we can easily illustrate that using this picture on the right. So it shows that the appearance of the pencil is changed. It becomes broken or bent uh, that's caused by the refraction of light as it passes through water. And the same thing happens with x-rays. Now, phase contrast is primarily used when you're imaging materials that have low absorption, like biological materials, because we want contrast enhancement. And systems that use this, they require an additional hardware. So these are grates or slits that are upstream and downstream of the sample to help measure these subtle changes in intensity that are induced by this refraction phenomenon. So it turns out that phase contrast imaging is really sensitive to the transition between different metals or borders. So this helps us differentiate between materials of similar density. So for example, neighboring organs. Uh, and so it's often referred to as an edge enhancement technique in that case. So let's take a look at a couple of examples using this methodology. So this is an example from the literature and here is an absorption radiograph for a rat sample. So this is a conventional x-ray image based on x-ray absorption. We can certainly see the skeletal tissue uh, in this case, but not a lot else. The remaining portions of the body are just represented by a halo of absorption. And tissues and organs have similar density, so they're not really discernible from one another in the abdomen, the head, or elsewhere. So in Contrast, here's a differential phase contrast image based on X-ray refraction, and this was obtained using a grading interferometer. And here we can see these so-called edge enhancement effects, where we can identify the interface between adjacent tissues. So specifically, we can see the trachea pretty well, and we can identify some other internal structures, say in the head. We can also see the lungs quite well on the edge of the lungs and some things in the abdomen. So quite a powerful thing. And most of these types of experiments are performed at synchrotron beam lines. However, there are some in home laboratories, either home built or some commercial systems. Now, instruments in a home lab that use this method will have a higher purchase price or investment price compared to X-ray absorption imaging systems. And that's because they require these additional components. Uh, and so they have the advantage that they allow us to see more detail, but they have the disadvantage that you're gonna need a bigger budget to perhaps have one in your lab. 